Hello, my name is Kurt Rasmussen. Today I would like to show you how to bring Google Earth images into MicroStation. I broke these videos down into three parts. The first part of our series will be setting the coordinate system. We're going to open the toolbar, which I have open on the right here, but I'll show you it's under Tools, Geographic, and you want to choose Open as Box. The first icon on this geographic toolbar is the Select Geographic Coordinate System. When I first open this up, you're going to notice that it says None. I am going to choose the library. Now I do have some favorites added. When you first do this, you will have Library. Most of the time, um, I'm dealing with projected coordinate systems. You may also have Lat Longs, the geographic coordinate systems or some other uncategorized ones. I recommend if you have a state that you're working in that you pick the local one for the state of New Jersey we are gonna browse down to projected northern and eastings North America United States of America New Jersey and we have NAD 27, NAD 83, you have US feet or meters. You will say add to favorites and then this will appear up within your favorite list of common coordinate systems that you work with. For today's demonstration we are going to use the Pennsylvania State Plane Coordinate System North. I will double click this. We see here that I'm getting a notification that says the units are set in feet but the storage units are in meters by storage units they're referring to the resolution units I will show you that in a moment I'm gonna say change the storage units from meters to US feet to match the geographic coordinate system if since I don't have any graphics in here it's not gonna affect anything so I do want to choose that now at this time that will make a change to my design file and under my settings here of how many resolutions per US foot rather than metric. I now want to show you the ACS which I have up here if you don't see your auxiliary coordinate system icon you can right click and choose it right here as we look at this we will see that there's a PA 83 NF. We see here this says X and Y. I'm going to double click on this now to set my view 1 to this coordinate system. You'll notice that the icon here has changed from X, Y to northern and easting. I would also like to point out your coordinate readout. Down here is the running coordinates. We can left click on there and choose ACS position. That will match us with this coordinate so you will see your lat longs. This concludes part one of our three-part series.